All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So it's time to give you 24 hours with the Samsung Galaxy A71. This phone is highly anticipated, just like the S10 Lite and the Note 10 Lite and the A51. This is like that middle ground, if you will, uh, where if a person doesn't want to spend too much money, but you still want a great phone from Samsung, this is it. Now, I went with the black version, so it has that colorful, you know, subtle little shimmer to it, flip-flop, rainbow, red, blue, and green, or whatever. You got the four cameras set up on the bottom, microphone up top, headphone jack, type C, uh, and then you got your SIM tray over here. Uh, and then you have this beautiful 6.7 inch display on the front, which is fantastic to say the least. This is a one of the most beautiful displays. It is super AMOLED, so consider that. You got the 20 by nine aspect ratio and this phone feels fantastic in the hand. You shouldn't have a problem with using this day to day with one hand. Even if you have small hands, the narrowness of the phone should help you out. It should help you out a little bit. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy for you to hold it, but this should help you out a little bit instead of it being 19 by nine, believe it or not. 19 by nine is a lot wider. So how's the phone been? Well, I've tested the cameras. I put that video out. I gave you my first impressions. Now it's time to tell you about what I see so far. So right now I'm still on the same charge because this is 24 hours. So I still have 37% left. Um, and you know, the phone's flowing along, man. I haven't had any hiccups or problems with the software. It runs full LTE in the US on T-Mobile. I've tested on T-Mobile USA, speed tests and everything. I got about 12 in my house or 10 in my house. So that's really good. That's fast enough to stream in 1080p, uh, which I did do and test it out. Uh, but the phone itself has had, hasn't had any problems, man. I knew it would be this way. I mean, it's still a brand new phone. So it's still getting a broken in and adjusted and everything, but all in all, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with this, just like I don't have a problem with my A51. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me, Jay, where'd you get this from? I, I can't believe people have asked this question. <laughs> Wirelessplace.com, check the link in the description, use my code and get 10 bucks off, hurry up while you can. So, this phone for daily tasks is gonna be fairly good i mean i don't think you're gonna have a problem with the phone you know crashing on you and, and everything it's got a snapdragon 730 in here and a lot of you guys felt like you know the 730 would just be this powerhouse because the 670 uh is in the google pixel device well the google pixel device the 3a that phone is optimized and just straight up gangster from Google. They've got that, that thing optimized perfectly. So in daily tasks, this is how my day goes. You know, I get on social media, I do a little bit of, um, you know, streaming and stuff like that. I just do a bunch of different things uh, with the phone that, that keep it just regular daily tasks. And this is a daily task for me, you know, um, doing social media, doing emails, doing doing photos. And speaking of photos, ooh, ooh, we. Man, if you haven't seen the camera review of this device, please check it out. It's incredible. I'll put some of the shots up in this video though, cause that's within the 24 hour period. But I gotta tell you, you need to go over and watch that video after you watch this one if you haven't already seen it. Because the cameras on here, I'm gonna have to compare them. I, I can't wait to compare them next to the A51. I'm working on something right now with the A51 as far as performance goes next to the A71, and you're gonna see some surprising results. I'm working on that. It's gonna be a pretty lengthy video, at least 10 minutes, but it's gonna be well worth it for you to check it out because a lot of you guys wanna know how this device measures up next to the A51, and some of you guys already know or have some idea of how it measures up next to the A51, so don't be surprised. I can tell you though, that this phone right here, you, you're you gonna be happy if you buy this, man. I mean, especially if you're looking for a flagship, this can save you tons of money. Now, I put out a video saying that I'm not excited about the Galaxy A20, but I told you also that I still wanna try to review the Galaxy A20, or the, excuse me, the S20. I said A20, the S20. The S20 is Samsung's flagship device, and depending on when you're watching this, it might be out or it might not be out. Uh, but the recording in this video, uh, today is before the event. So today uh, is Saturday the 8th. And it, I've completed 24 hours. I'm actually a little over 24 hours, but Saturday the 8th of Fe February is where we are, and the event is on the 11th. So if you're watching it before or after that, take note of that. So this phone, though, 
is Samsung's answer to people who don't want to spend a lot of money. And I, I, I totally, I'm in that crowd, man. The S20, man, a lot of you guys are saying, Jay, you know you're going to buy the S20. Well, I told you I don't have any intentions on reviewing the S20. I'm supposed to get some dummy units in at the end of this month. And that might be all you see is case reviews on the S20 for me. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm interested in spending uh, 1300 bucks. 1200 bucks i'm trying to avoid that man at all costs the only phones i'll be giving that type of money to is the galaxy z flip and the new iphone 12 if i get if i get that because i totally enjoy my iphone 11 i think it is a beast mode device uh and i'm just into it right now for some reason but the Galaxy A71 is a device that day-to-day -day tasks, man, from my experience, performing with it, gaming and everything on it, I think it's going to be okay, man. I think you'll be hard-pressed to, to pass on this one. Uh, unless you, if, okay, here's a question that I'm going to answer. If I have the A70, Jay, should I go ahead and get the, um, the A71? I would say sell your a70 first if you just really want this phone don't and, and or else give your a70 to someone else you know what i'm saying like donate it you know hook it up hook somebody up i do it all the time to my family members my, people in my family they be like oh my god this is for me i'm like yes yeah, for you uh, so i would say donate your 70 and buy the 71 some people are going to tell you that it's not enough in an upgrade but you know it, it is considered it a small upgrade it's got a different design it's got better cameras for sure it's probably gonna have better battery uh, and other than that you get Android 10 with the new UI 2.0 I don't know when that's coming to the a70 but I can tell you this design is way more beautiful in person that you could actually believe um, I would tell you yes grab the a71 not because I'm trying to get you to use my code in the description or anything like that I'm just saying in general I think it's better than the a70 as far as design goes but as far as performance goes it's pretty much a, just a little bit better you know what I'm saying so it's no reason for you to buy it if you don't want to but I'm just kind of giving you the the hint that you know hey it's it's worth it to me I would sell my a70 and get this there you go that's how i feel about that so real brief discussion video on the a71 24 hours later it's a beast man we knew it would be i'm really checking for this battery though see how it goes down it's your man jay i'll see you in the next one take care